Are older recordings high resolution? Hmm. Dulane in Sri Lanka, which is a country I would love to visit once this pandemic thing is over, right? Um, and Dulane writes, hi Paul, my question is, how reliable is what we're being advertised and sold? <laughs> well, depends where you, depends where you go. I've read that back in those days, let's say the, the 70s and 80s, well, back in those days, ain't nothing was true. Uh, the equipment was even half as good as what we have today. And if so, why are they still selling SACDs and high resolution files from those days? Are they just upsampled? Is there any real point in buying old, high resolution recordings when they are probably just as good as a 16 bit 44 1? Yeah, that's a really, that's, that's, that's tough. I, I don't think we had SACDs in the 70s. And, and I forgot when the SACD came out. See, the CD came out in 82. The SACD came out sometime in the 90s, if I remember right. And the SACD was the Sony's follow-up piece to the compact disc. So compact disc comes out in 1982. 10, 15 years later, Sony and Philips come up with the Super Audio Compact Disc. And those, in general, when they first came out, many of them were real, because our, our own Gus Skinnis uh, of Octave Records, right here in this building, was responsible for mastering and making, oh gosh, just so many, SA he was on the SACD team. He helped design the Sonoma SACD mastering system, which is all one bit DSD. That is running at 64 times faster, that sample rate of DSD is 64 times faster than CD. Think about that, 64 times, that's a lot. And yes, it's one bit, but it is the equivalent of if you, if you use 16 bits as your standard, then that 64 times is equivalent to, I think, 176 um, kilohertz as opposed to a CD sample rate of 44 kilohertz. So it's quite a bit faster. It's, it's four times faster with the same bits or 64 times if we take the, the bit because DSD is one bit. Okay. Um, now, having said that, many, many, many of those were absolutely the, the w w proper and you want to look and, and see there's no guarantee that's the problem and we got into this thing after a while where people were just upsampling CDs you can take any CD and upsample it to 192 kilohertz to uh, 16 bits to 24 bits there's no more information there that's a total farce there's nothing more there What's the difference? Well, so here's the only difference. If you took a 44-1 CD and you upsampled it, say, to 176, it will likely sound better in most DACs, but not because there's more information, which there isn't, but because the filtering requirements are so much more relaxed. See, when we make a CD, there's something called the Nyquist theory or whatever Nyquist came up with, which basically says that in order to get 20 kilohertz, you need to have 40 kilohertz uh, ability to record. And anything over that will cause something called anti-aliasing. It, it, it mucks it up. It'll add distortion. So you can't have anything higher than the highest rate that you can record. So you got to roll it off really quick. And that's how we came up with 44 kilohertz. So we wanted 20 to 20 to be able to hear. So in order to record 20 kilohertz, you need, what would Nyquist say? Twice. So we need to be at 40 kilohertz. And then can't have anything after that. Like, whoa, there is no such thing as a complete drop, you know, like, 40 kilohertz were flat, and then <laughs> nothing at 41 kilohertz, right? So you have to have a very steep, uh, steep filter. So they said, all right, give us four kilohertz 
to get out of there and we'll come up with a very steep brick wall filter and give us that four kilohertz. That's how we came up with 44.1. I don't remember where the point one came from, but that's how we got to there. And it's a really gnarly filter and it doesn't sound good. So as we get higher sample rates, we get much more relaxed filters, right? We still only need the 20 kilohertz, but now we can do it with a much more relaxed filter. And that's the difference. But yeah, upsampling, that's the only real advantage to it. Now, when we record at Octave, we're doing real 64 times the rate of CD in pure DSD. And that, when you start with that, is absolutely amazing. If you want to know more, go to octaverecords.com, O-C-T-A-V-E, you know how to spell records, octaverecords.com, and, and look, and you'll find more information out about that. Okay, thanks. Talk to you all later. Bye.